Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to learn how to combine or add radicals. In this case, we're adding and subtracting radicals. We also want to simplify them as much as possible. Notice we have the square root of 243, the square root of 27, and the square root of 48. Notice that we can factor out a 3. So this can be written as 2 times the square root of 81 times 3 plus 4 times the square root of 9 times 3 minus the square root of 16 times 3. The reason why we did that is because now you can also see that this can be written as 2 times the square root of 9 squared times 3 plus 4 times the square root of 3 squared times 3 minus the square root of 4 squared times 3. And of course, anytime you take the square root of something squared, you simply can take it outside the radical. So this can be written as 2 times 9 times the square root of 3 plus 4 times 3 times the square root of 3 minus 4 times the square root of 3. Multiplying these out, this is equal to 18 times the square root of 3 plus 12 times the square root of 3 minus 4 times the square root of 3. And now we can finally see that we have the same quantity inside the radical, under the radical. And that means we can now combine like terms. 18 plus 12 is 30 minus 4. That's equal to 26 times the square root of 3. And this is the simplified form of our original problem. If you couldn't see that, if you couldn't see that this can be written as such, you can also say, well, you take each of those numbers, for example, the number 243, and you divide it by 3 to get 81, divide by 3 to get 27, divide by 3 to get 9, and divide by 3 to get 3. In other words, 243 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 to the fifth power. And then you can go ahead and take the radical of 243 and write it as the radical of 3 to the fifth power, which can be written as the radical of 3 squared times 3 squared times 3. And then you can see that this can be written as 3 times 3 times the square root of 3, or 27 times the square root, oh, not 27, it's a little too much, 9 times the square root of 3. So you can see there's different approaches to these types of problems. But ultimately, if you're going to combine, add or subtract radical expressions, the idea is, can you get it to the point where the number underneath the radical is the same number, so that you can then combine the radical expressions. And that's how it's done.